Good afternoon. I thought I'd do a review on my Chicago Air um, high performance Hush series compressor. Uh, 15 litre tank, obviously 2 horsepower, 250 litres of um, uh, per minute. Uh, the actual size of it is it's 550mm deep. It's 500 mil wide and it's 400 mil high. Twin outlet, manual regulator. Obviously, it's got the um, um, just the analog uh, gauge, but this one's all digital. Um, so we'll just get to that in a minute. But it comes as a suitcase type compressor, so it's got the handle on the back of it. Um, so area's tight you can just sort of use that drain valve and what have you compressor sits in the cage probably the only thing that um, i wasn't all that impressed with is just the quality of the welds um, uh, so that's a bit of a worry but still it hasn't fallen apart um, it's an oilless compressor so i'll turn it over as you can see so it can run in it can run in all all different positions um, but it's a, it's a four cylinder but it's a two stage um, plumbing and everything like that's pretty simple uh, and what have you um, but it's an inverter compressor so what that means is it's got a capacitor on it um, so you don't get the initial fire up speed that you need uh, with a standard uh, large scale two horsepower compressor so this one just ramps up. So just to give you a bit of an idea of just how good this compressor is, uh, it cost me $600 from uh, Sydney Tools in Australia. So Australian dollars. Um, but what I've got it done is I've just got it plugged into the, the bird's nest. Um, and this then runs up to my inverter. So this is just a, an unheard of to be able to run a compressor on an inverter. So we've got solar power, of course, here. We'll just turn it on. So we're looking at 13.2 volts. Um, batteries are okay. I've just got standard cold crankers in this. Um, so over to the gauge now. So everything comes up. This is sitting in the, uh, in the off position. So it's got a digital gauge and the top reading at the top tells you what you can actually set as your um, PS, PSI. So it goes from 45 to 175 PSI. Where this is really, really good is that you can just wind this so this doesn't work, and then you can set your pressure based on this. So if you're pumping up a truck tyre, all you do, if you need 125 PSI, and you've got a, a lock that'll go onto the tyre rim, you just pump it up and the compressor will actually bring the tyre, the tank, the whole lot up to 120 per, 25 PSI. And when it stops pumping, you know you're right. So, but anyway, it's got a fast and silent uh, um, mode on it. So it's got two, two run modes. Um, so what I'll do is I'll just start it up. It might be a little bit noisy, but we'll just see how it goes. So, fires up. So it's got that different speed if, if noise is an issue. So this is running at half speed. And as you can see, it's certainly pumping that up. And we just go right up to 100%. She starts bringing up things really, really quickly. So as you can see, it's recharged really, really quickly. Uh, it sets at that 110 PSI. But what we can do is we can just lift our PSI and now our tank run will sit at that so if you need 140 PSI once that's wound off you've got 140 PSI at that valve and it'll regulate that 140 PSI um, so we'll just bring it back to the 110 and what I was going to do not to get my fingers in the way was use this air blower it's not a huge air blower but it's got no nozzle in it um just stick that in 
And then what I was going to show you is just how quickly it recovers and how it actually holds voltage. So mind the noise. Oh, how it holds um, compressed air, sorry. Mind the noise and we'll just watch the gauge. So that's taken a lot of air, admittedly, it dropped it down to 50 psi, um, but she's recovered really quickly. This compressor I can run a, a 30 amp plasma on uh, quite comfortably and it'll keep up with it. Uh, it'll run a nail gun, it'll run this duster of course. Um, uh, I use an air hammer or a, a, um, a, a needle gun. Uh, when I'm welding, but also use this, um, say for example, for a, a coil nail gun or something like that. So, uh, very, very compact, highly recommended um, for what they are. The fact that they're an inverter, it's dragging around about 1100 watts, 1200 watts to run. Um, so, it doesn't drag too much current. And so, we've been mucking around with this for a bit, so I just thought we'd come back. So voltage is sitting at 12.8 volts, um, but it won't take too long. So it does drag the amps, um, but as you can see with the solar panels, it's coming back to speed really quickly. Uh, if you've got any questions or queries, you know what to do.